We have breaking news this afternoon. Minnesota has confirmed its first presumptive case of coronavirus. It's also led to a lot of drinking bleach, conspiracy theories, masks and shutdowns are not necessary to stop its spread. these men and women are working day in and day out. They are putting their own health on the lines. They are putting their own lives on the lines for complete and total strangers. The resident physicians at Abbott Northwestern Hospital in Minneapolis have their own message. We stay at work. For you, you stay at home for us. The best way that someone can support a healthcare worker right now is to stay at home. Donate blood. Don't panic by toilet paper. Just remember that this is a marathon, not a sprint. You are one of the unsung heroes of the coronavirus pandemic. How do you see yourself? I mean, I take pride in what I do. I truly, truly do. Yeah, the rain didn't keep these thankful Minnesotans away from their balconies. The goal is to make sure those working in hospitals know how much they're appreciated. Great work, superheroes in scrubs. Even if it was for just a few seconds, a special thank you to the frontline workers risking their lives. It's surreal to think that this is all for us. All of us struggling in the Twin Cities area and nationally are trying to make the most of the supplies that we do have. If you look and walk the wards and see what they're doing every day, it's nothing short of stunning. I put the call out for um, 160 slots, so 40 in the morning, 40 in the afternoon, and all of them were filled within a 24-hour period, which is just amazing. In the battle against COVID-19, their sewing machines are their weapons. If there is a need, we sew. I think when it's all said and done, you'll be surprised at how many masks can get done in a week. Members of the Association for Minnesota Chinese Physicians banding together to donate thousands of masks and other personal protective equipment. We're all different. However, in face of the fighting against the virus, we're all in this together. There was a lot of creativity. Everybody was doing what they can and they were passionate about it. Minnesota United teamed up with the Line of Health today for a two-day blood drive. It's important to be able to have something etched in stone. I don't know, maybe in a hundred years, these will be the photos that our grandkids are looking at. Given COVID and given all the challenges uh, with uh, associated uh, financials and the health of the community, I don't think it gets much harder than this. And then George Floyd was killed and it got a lot harder. One of the things that I would ask is that we think about our humanity. Our humanity is what brings us together. We're part of the system. That means we can be a part of undoing the system and creating new ways of working with the community, looking at ourselves and uh, addressing some of the issues that we see in society. We're definitely seeing an increase in number of patients calling, needing help. Because there were so many people out there cleaning and moving debris, feeding one another, providing diapers, milk, whatever kids might have needed because that's what Alina does. We embrace our community and it just makes me proud. This is a tough hand that nature has dealt us. How well we respond to it will determine how many people die. What most worries you over the next couple months? Having enough beds for all the patients. The most striking thing about Thanksgiving this year is the absence of patients' families. I don't really think of numbers, I just think of my patients. This is not how we say goodbye to, to our loved ones. Healthcare workers are showing up in ways that we've never been called to do. And we keep showing up because it's what we do.
99% of our mental health visits are being performed through virtual means. If it weren't for all the medical professionals who helped save his life, he wouldn't be going home at all. God bless them all. Everyone has a piece of my heart and always will. Healthcare is more about love than anything else. We can create one hope in an ultimate way. I just think it's really cool to have that, have your own workspace. Right now I have 875. It's all for the gift. Take a look at this picture, taken from the parking lot below Linus's hospital window. Natalie! I wasn't sure you would recognize oh, me. Oh, This is I... the nurse. This is my Natalie that saved me the night I was drowning. <laughs> oh. We need to remind ourselves of that, especially on the hard days, that we're doing good things. This morning, renewed hope that help may finally be on the way. Alina Health in Minneapolis is Minnesota's only clinical trial site for Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine. The entire world is resting on the success and safety of these vaccines, and we hope to be part of that solution. We're never really going to be quite the same after this, are we? No, I don't think we're going to be quite the same. I, I wonder sometimes if, uh, if maybe a new greatest generation will be born. That's my greatest hope is that out of this and out of the collective we and what we will accomplish and go through together that uh, something you know new will be born and that's that's hope renewed